Today, we're gonna approximate this guy. Hmm. How shall we do that? Now, I know it's very complicated. Very ugly. We can let this guy be S. So now what can we do? Now, I'm gonna try to write S in another way. 1314, 1312, and here is minus. So now, we should actually approximate S. I'm gonna say it is very small, very close to zero. Why? Why is it very small? Because of this guy, this minus. I hate minus. I always love plus. So now, I'm gonna try to write S in a term of square root of this guy plus square root of this guy. So now, this is my goal. But can I reach it? Hopefully. And the answer is yes. The only way we can do is the rationalization of numerator. Maybe you've only heard about the rationalization of denominators. However, you know, this problem, we're gonna rationalize the numerator. Actually, what is the numerator? This guy. So now we're gonna rationalize this guy and what shall we do? Write this guy, copy it here, and multiply this guy times its conjugated form it is square root of this plus square root of this. We've multiplied this guy times it, then we have to divide by this guy. And we have to divide by this guy, square root of 1314 plus square root of 1312. Of course, we can evaluate the numerator. You can see our numerator is actually this squared minus this squared because a minus b times a plus b is just a squared minus b squared. So it is 1314 minus 1312. It is just 2. So the numerator is 2. What about the denominator? The denominator is still this guy. The sum of these two strange numbers. Because we have 2 on the numerator, and we have this on our denominator. Our denominator is a sum, so we can separate these two parts. We can firstly evaluate this then this guy. So now our first job, our first work is to approximate square root of 1,340. How can we do that? We can firstly use integer approaching this number under the root. So now, firstly, 30 squared, it is actually 900. And 40 squared is 1,600. And it is bigger than this. However, 900 is less than this. So that means the square root of 1314 has to be greater than 30, less than 40. Now, 35 squared, you can see it is 1225, smaller than this. 36 squared, it is. 1, 2, 9, 6. Also smaller than this. 37 squared, it is bigger than this. It is 1, 3, 6, 9. So now, what can we say? This guy has to be between 36 and 37. Now, the difference between 1, 2, 9, 6 and 1, 3, 1, 4 is smaller than the difference between 1, 3, 9, 6, 1, 3, 6, 9 and 1, 3, 1, 4. So does it mean? That means the value mm, is maybe 36.1, 36.2, or 36.3, we guess. And now we're going to have a good look at it. We know 
it is between these two guys. 36.1 squared. It is 1303.21. 36.2 squared it is 1310.44. 0.44. Still smaller than this. 36.3 squared is 1317.69. Of course, bigger than this. So the value is between 36.2 and 36.3. So this guy is between 36.2 and 36.3. What about the square root of 1312? You can see 1312 is also between these two guys. So it is also between 36.2 and 36.3. Now if we write, if we let square root of this guy plus square root of this guy, our denominator, as t. Okay, S and T, of course, natural couple. Then our T will be between 2 times 36.2, that is 72.4, and 2 times 36.3, it is 72.6, yes. So now, T is between this, and we know that S is just 2 over T. So now, S should be greater than 2 over the greater value, it is 72.6, and smaller than 2 over 72.4. And now, using the long division, you can get the answer, or you can get the approximate values of these two guys. This guy, approximately equal to 0 0.0275 and this guy over here it is 0 0.0276 and now you can see s is between these two guys so s should be 0 0.0275 and something so the approximation of s is very easy it is just 0 0.02 Eight. Very good. Did you get it? Did you get the trick? Give me a thumbs up for more wonderful questions, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.